Okay, we're back. Uh, let's get to work. Nandito na tayo sa part 3, problem solving. Uh, pinapauna ko lang po sa inyo na sa problem solving, medyo mabagal po ang takbo ng ating problem solving kasi mouse lang po yung aking gamit at uh, uh, wala po yung aking stylus. Ngayon, ang isang uh, positive side nito, parang nai-slow motion po natin yung uh, pag-execute ng uh, problem solving, mas may internalize ng ating viewers. Nevertheless, kung kayo ay uh, medyo nababagalan na yun, you can always uh, uh, fast forward the video. Okay? And I hope uh, this will uh, help dun sa ating mga estudyante. No? Let's get to work. Okay, we are now going to continue and move on to part 3 of our uh, video presentation on work. So, napag-usapan na natin yung mga formulas at napag-usapan na natin yung dot product last time. So, uh, marunong na tayong kumuha ng dot product using Caltech at using uh, conventional method. Ngayon, may isang uh, formula dito sa May isang formula dito sa work na ang sabi raw, sa dot product, if we are having uh, two vectors, say for example, we have vector A going in this direction. So, this is vector A. And we have another vector which is Vector B, which is going in this direction. And we have an angle of theta. Okay. Between them. And we want to get the angle between two vectors. Uh, binigyan tayo ng formula. Ang formula daw dyan ay... Uh, for example, A dot B is equal to the magnitude of A multiplied by the magnitude of B cosine of theta. Okay. Cosine theta. Then as there we go. This will be cosine theta uh, a dot b the dot product is equal to a times b cosine of theta so anong ibig sabihin once na naget natin na nagets na natin yung dot product niya we can get the value of theta which is the angle between them to be theta as a dot b, the dot product of a and b over the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b. And there is a cosine here. So, ang mangyayari dyan will be arc cosine of arc cosine of this whole thing there you go that will be your angle theta okay so ganyan po ang pagkuha ng theta between uh, two vectors vector A and vector B. Okay, now suppose that we have uh, work done by a variable force. Example, if the force varies, kagaya ng sa spring, we need to use calculus to find the work 
done. Okay? Kasi nga yung calculus na yan, kumukuha tayo ng mga uh, small strips, elementary strips, and then we can uh, integrate it para pagsamasamahin siya at makompute kung gaano karami yung work. O paano ba ibig sabihin nun? So, for example, we have here, example, we have here a graph which represents, uh, this is the force as a function of uh, x, okay? And this is the displacement. Displacement, no? So if that is the force and this is the uh, displacement, okay, let us say we have it from A somewhere here to, uh, to B and the force is not constant. Nung una kasi, yung mga pinag-uusapan natin, it is a constant force, diretso lang siya. And the displacement, for example, the force is here. And the displacement will just be like this. So, nagiging rectangular yung area. Oh, pardon my drawing. No? The area will be a rectangular shape. Madali natin nakukuha yung area. Ito. It is, sabi natin, the force multiplied by the displacement D. Okay? So, if this is the displacement and this is the force, yung work, yun yun. Pero, what if we have a varying force? Okay? So, sometimes we are uh, we are compelled to uh, to do this or we have encountered a problem and the force is uh, not constant for example uh, ganito, no? for example pag ganito yung mga force natin hindi constant so ang mangyayari dyan we are going to get elementary strips as what we have learned in our in our calculus and then we sum up those elementary strips from A to B no? from A to B so ang magiging formula daw natin is this one W is equal to F of X Meaning to say, F as a function of X, uh, dx. That is actually the integral of F of X dx from A to B. So, yun yung ating uh, formula. So, we can expect that we will be using uh, integration here uh, in this uh, this chapter no since nandiyan na tayo sa work done by a varying force ang mga perfect example nito yung uh, force on springs no pag pinag-usapan yung springs uh, we will always come across robert hooke uh, he is famous doon sa kanyang hook hooks law for springs Ano bang sinabi doon? The force F that it takes to stretch or compress. Remember ha, ang uh, sinabi rito is stretch or compress. A spring X units from its normal length is proportional to X. Okay. So, yung F of spring daw, yung force of spring Fs, is equal to negative kx uh, wherein k is the spring constant or the stiffness of the spring and x is the displacement ngayon you will wonder bakit nagkaroon ng negative dito okay? 
So, ang sinabi lang naman, proportional to x or to the displacement. Tandaan mo, ang nakasulat dito is force of the spring. So, kapag hinila mo yung spring, eh, ang force na ini-exert ng spring, halimbawa, hinila mo siyang pakanan, ang force of spring is pakaliwa. Kapag itinulak mo naman yung spring na pa pakaliwa, ang force naman niya ay pakanan. So, it's always uh, opposite the direction, kaya negative. Always opposite the, the direction of the displacement. Yung force na ini-exert ng spring. Ngayon sa ibang aklat, kung kayo'y uh, mahilig magbasa ng iba't ibang aklat, meron kayong mababasang F is equal to KS. Magtataka ka, sasabihin mo magkaiba. Parehas lang po yan ng principle. Kaya lang itong F na to is the force you exert to, to uh, push or pull the string. So, this one is work done by the system. And itong isang ito, work done through the system. Itong force na to. To the system. Kaya po natin nilinaw kanina yung by the system uh, to the system doon sa ating uh, second video. So, yan po yung ating uh, general working uh, formula. F of S, which is F of spring, force of spring, is equal to negative K, wherein K is the spring constant and X will be the displacement. Now, to explain further, I have uh, downloaded some images from uh, the internet at nakakita naman ako, no? So, we have here uh, five systems of springs, okay? Yung uh, first two systems, ay there is a pull on the spring at yung isa, there's a normal equilibrium condition on the spring, yung pangatlo, which is uh, this one, okay? Nasa equilibrium siya, kung mapapansin mo, this is equal to x is equal to zero. Itong... Uh, Itong line na to, yan, na represented by blue. At dito sa pangalawa, sa pang-apat, ay uh, itinutulak yung spring, uh, which is nakapix dun sa bandang kaliwa, itinutulak sa pakaliwa, sa panglima, ganun din. So dito, mapapatunayan natin yung uh, principle ni Robert Hooke. F of spring is equal to negative kx. So, yan yung uh, sinasabi sa atin kanina, no? Uh, let us consider this first, uh, first scenario here. Kapag itong sa first scenario, hinahatak, hinatak mo siya pa kanan, of course, yung brown na to, yun yung force na ini-exert ng, uh, ng spring. Pero ang displacement mo, pakanan. So, yung force na ini-exert ng spring ay pakaliwa. Okay? Now, notice kung gaano ka laki yung, uh, kung gaano ka laki yung force ng inihila mo, ganin din kalaki yung force na uh, ini-exert ng spring. Kung sinobrahan mong hila mo dyan, kung halimbawa kinabitan mo ng isang mechanical na bagay, kinabit mo sa sasakyan, eh sobrang uh, laki ng uh, pulling force, maaaring itong spring na ito ay mapatid kasi hindi niya nakakayanin yung force na i-exert niya doon sa system para uh, magkaroon ng uh, rebound force. Ano? So, dito sa pangalawa, pinakita din lang sa atin na kung maliit lang yung Maliit lang yung force na inihila mo. Maliit lang din yung force ng spring na inibinibigay niya. So, dito naman sa pangatlo, wherein we do not apply any force, 
normally, x is equal to 0 lang, no? Uh, the displacement is uh, 0. Walang force na nagaganap. And then, na ibinibigay yung spring, wala rin tayong force na uh, pull or push doon sa spring na ini-exert sa kanya. Dito naman sa pang-apat na case, kapag itinulak mo na pakaliwa yung spring, ay eh di magkukompress siya, no? Ang force naman na ibinibigay ng spring ay patulak, pakanan. Kasi merong, uh, meron lagi yung uh, uh, resisting force yung ating uh, spring. So, upon knowing the forces that was done to the system and by the system, uh, we can now uh, have the formula for the work done on the spring. W sub S is equal to the integral of negative kx dx. So I guess by now we are very much ready to uh, jump in sa pag-solve ng problems. Sana wala na tayong nakalimutan. Ano? Let's have a very very brief review. Uh, work is equal to the force times the uh, displacement. Okay. So, yun yung uh, formula natin sa work kapag ka siya ay naka <coughs> mag merong constant uh, force. Ang general formula natin, work is equal to F cosine of theta cosine of theta multiplied by the displacement. Suppose na meron tayong box na ganito at meron tayong uh, force na inclined oh, and this is theta and it goes it underwent a displacement horizontal displacement like this this will be the final position of the box. So the work will be equal to uh, F cosine of theta multiplied by the displacement. Ayan, napatunayan din natin kung yung force na yan ay pataas. Theta will be 90. Therefore, work is equal to 0. Kung yung force na yan is acting opposite eh di magkakaroon tayo ng uh, theta which is uh, which is 180 o oh, eh di mangyayari dyan magkakaroon tayo ng negative negative work kasi opposite yung direction and cosine 180 is negative 1 so, yan yung mga napag-aralan natin sa work so far. Ano pa ba yung iba pa? Na sinabi sa atin na yung work daw is equal to the change in uh, kinetic energy. Napaka-importante rin ito. Pwede rin nating magamit itong equation na to sa mga problems na may encounter natin. Sometimes kasi uh, hindi kinakaya ng integration at saka ng kinematic equation mas or kaya man niya pero mas madaling gamitin natin yung mga uh, formula ng work and energy uh, relation formula eh bakit pa natin pahihirapin yung sarili natin kung may alam naman tayo ganito so work is equal to the final kinetic energy Okay, minus the initial kinetic energy. No? So, yan yung mga napag-aralan natin. Na alam natin na yung uh, <coughs> yung daw kinetic energy na pag-aralan natin is energy of motion or energy in motion Ke. Palakihin natin Ke. 
is energy of motion is equal to one half m b squared. So one half m b squared. Lagyan nila natin ng squared dyan, ano? Dito. So that is uh, the kinetic energy. At yung potential energy naman, some books uh, use U as the uh, capital U actually, as the uh, potential energy. Pero tayo, gawin na lang natin simple potential energy PE. Ayan. Ang formula daw niyan is M G H, ano? So, uh, habang tumataas daw yung height natin from a uh, reference line, mas lumalaki yung ating potential energy. For example, ang ating reference line ay itong ground at may object tayo dito na bola. Okay? The potential energy dito okay, will be higher okay, higher than the potential energy dito sa level na to. Bakit? Because of the height. Okay? So, yan yung mga napag-aralan natin. At alam din natin na yung uh, energy is the ability to do work. Yan, mga napag-aralan natin sa classroom during our uh, discussion, ability to do work. At yung energy na yan, parehas lang ng uh, unit, ang work at ang energy that will be in Joules. Okay. So, Joules siya. Pero, yan daw ay Newton meter. Huwag daw natin ga sasabihin na Joules ang torque or ang moment para hindi tayo malito. No? Let moment be Newton meter and let uh, the work and energy be Joules. Yan yung isa pa nating uh, pag-aralan. Ano? So, ano pa ba? Napag-aralan. Ah, ito pa yung importante na yung ating uh, uh, dot product of A and B is equal to the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B and then cosine of uh, theta. No? Pero in theta is the angle between uh, the two vectors. For example, this is A and this is B. The angle between them, that is the theta. Okay? So, if this is B. So, para daw makuha natin yung theta, A, B, uh, A dot B, or the dot product of A and B, over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B or cosine noon. <coughs> yung uh, work done daw naman by a uh, varying force, uh, let us say, uh, ulay natin dito, the work done by a varying force ay given daw by the equation the integral of Integral of f of x dx. Yan, napag-aralan din natin yan. From some uh, final, final point, from initial point to final point. O yung uh, pinigay natin kanina or doon sa video ay uh, this will be from A, from A to B. Kung ang graph natin. Anyway, parehas lang naman yan. Basta yung A is the initial point and B is the final point. Or if you want X sub 1 or X sub F, it's just the same. Okay. Tapos sa spring, pagkasyay na natin dito, no? Buro-buro uh, na lang tayo ng konti rito. Sa spring, Meron tayong uh, formula sa spring na 
kinamit natin yung principle ni Robert Hooke sa course ng exerted by the spring. W is equal to the integral of what? Integral of negative kx dx. No? So, yan naman yung uh, formulas natin uh, sa spring. From initial and again, from some final uh, point to the initial uh, uh, point. Uh, mapapatunayan natin na uh, nagsasum up siya because of the uh, restoring force. Pag binitawan mo naman kasi yung spring, hindi naman siya titigil din agad. No? As, as discussed in our classroom, we have uh, the restoring force of the spring. So this is uh, this is all that we have done or we have tackled so far in the two videos ano So isa, dalawa, tatlo and then apat, lima, napakarami pala ng uh, conceptualization dito sa work. Uh, that is why uh, pinili ko nga magkaroon ng video nito para kahit na ulit-ulitin ninyo madali ninyong marirecall. At ito naman yung energy. Okay. So, ang energy natin, we have the potential energy and the uh, kinetic energy. Yung potential energy, MGH, it goes up with the height and 1 half mv squared sa kinetic energy. May isa pang form tayo ng energy. Isama na rin natin dito para baka ma-encounter natin sa pagsusolve ng uh, work problems. So, yung tinatawag nating mechanical energy. Ano naman tong mechanical energy to? O edi yan daw ay iyan yung sum ng kinetic energy at ng potential energy U. Okay? O, oh, na pala. Huwag yung gamitin natin, gamitin natin para madali ng kabisaduhin potential energy. So, I hope with this the, concept the conceptualization is already done. The underlying principles has already been laid and uh, we just play uh, whatever is in on the table. Uh, I-apply na lang natin to pag uh, susolve natin ng problems. So, without further ado, let us uh, solve uh, let us solve some problems involving work. Okay, let us have this uh, example number one on work. A spring he has a natural uh, length of 1 meter. A force of 25 newtons stretches the spring by one fourth of a meter. Determine how much work is done by stretching the spring. Letter A, 2 meters beyond the natural length. And letter B, from a length of 1.5 meters to 2.5 meters. Okay. Now, I try to get some uh, pictures in the uh, internet. Nakakita naman tayo na mag illustrate dun sa problem. Ano? For example, we have this uh, illustration uh, below. Meron daw tayong spring na ang length niya ay 1 meter. From here to here, 1 meter daw yung length ng spring. Pasensya na, medyo hindi uh, hindi ko measurate yung nakita kong uh, yung nakita kong image for illustration. Anyway, uh, this, will, uh, this will do. Ang importante naman, may illustrate natin yung problem. Okay. So, 1 meter daw siya. From here to here. Ngayon, binatak daw siya. Okay. 
ng 25 newton na uh, it is uh, stretched by a 25 newton force. Okay? So, hinila siya. Gawin natin white. Hinila siya ng kwersang ito magmula dito. Hinila siyang pa ganyan. Okay. By a force that is equivalent to 25 newtons. Okay. <clears throat> Ngayon, syempre, after hilahin siya, magkakaroon siya na displacement somewhere here. Okay. Yan. Yan daw yung magiging displacement niya, which is X. Okay. So, determine the work done by stretching the spring. Okay. Ngayon ang uh, problema natin, wala tayong binigay na spring constant na K. Pero alam naman natin na yung force okay, is equal to Kx. Diba? O, linawin muna natin nga pala to. A spring has a, has a natural length of 1 meter. A force of 25 newtons stretches the spring by one fourth of a distance. Ang tinatanong, work done by stretching the spring. You can pause the video. Okay? You can pause this video and analyze. Ano ba yung work na tinatanong? Work done by the spring or work done by this force? Uh, to the spring. So you can pause the video and analyze. Okay. So uh, tama ang inyong uh, isip. It is the work done to the spring. The work done by this force to this spring. So we have in this case F is equal to Kx. Ngayon, given yung F natin, which is 25 newtons let us say the force is in 25 is in blue 25 newtons okay. tapos yung k natin which is the unknown at yung x natin sabihin natin green okay yung x natin given ba so then the 25 newton stretches the spring by one port of a meter. Ayun. Given pala yung ating uh, yung ating displacement. So, 1 over 4 this will be in meter. Okay. So, anong mangyayari dyan? Yung K natin K is equal to 25 25 newtons divided by 1 port and this will be in meter <clears throat> so therefore this one goes up there and will be multiplied by 25 ang mangyayari dyan 100 newton per meter. So, there you have it. We have the K now. So, we will now, we are now uh, ready to uh, ready to integrate this one. Kasi meron na tayong uh, meron na tayong K, which is 100 newton meter. Ngayon, ang tanong, ano ba gagamitin natin dito? Uh, pwede ba natin gamitin yung uh, formula natin na uh, uh, work is equal to or sorry work is equal to the integral of uh, negative kx dx okay, from some uh, initial point to the final point. So, your answer is as good as mine. 
hindi po natin pwedeng gamitin ito. Hindi palibas at spring ito. Yun yung ano natin, eh. yun yung uh, nagpahirap sa ganitong kasimpleng tanong. Akala mo spring yan, gagamitin mo agad negative kx dx. Tandaan mo lang, work is done by stretching the, how much work is done by stretching the spring? So, ang tinatanong, work done by this force. So, ang pwede po natin gamitin dito ay yung ating uh, equation na general equation para sa integration. Okay? Uh, work is equal to the integral of so work is equal to the integral of uh, f of x dx yan okay so what is our uh, f of x kung ang k natin ay 100 okay so ang ating f of x is equal to 100 x okay that will be our f of x okay what will be our limits ang um, our limits will be for letter a from a, from an initial point 0 okay to some uh, 2 meters okay from 2 meters from 0 to 2 meters so yan po yung ating magiging uh, parang equation. Pasensya na po, mouse lang ang gamit. Uh, tuluyan na yata nasira yung aking stylus pen. Anyways, uh, let us uh, proceed further and uh, allow me to erase this one now. Let us erase this one. Okay. So, Ano yung ating working equation na napatunayan dito kanina? So, work will be work will be equal to the integral of from 0 to 2 of f of x dx Ayan. wherein f of x is equal to 100x Kasi yung F natin is equal to 100 kx, it will be 100 x. So this is 100 x dx, and we are going to integrate it what will happen to x will be x squared over 2 x squared over 2 and then there will be a hundred here a hundred pagandayin natin yung ating sulat na there will be a hundred here over 2 and uh, integrate na natin ha? so meron tayo rito from the initial to the upper limit okay yan if we're going to rewrite it further it will be equal sa 2 from 0 to 2 it will be 50 x squared so if we're going to uh, input or to uh, substitute the values of the limits, we will have uh, 50, then multiplied by, uh, that will be 2. Paguin natin, okay. That is 2, 2 squared. 2 squared minus oh, 0 na to, no? 50 50 times 0, eh. Okay, 0 yung uh, 
lower limit natin. So, magiging 0 na to. Obviously, tayo dito, the answer will be uh, the work done by the work done by the uh, force to the spring is equal to 50 times 4. So, 50 times 4. And that will be equal to 200. Uh, what will be the unit? This one is uh, in uh, Newton meter yung K. Tapos, minultiply natin. Ito kanina ay Newton meter. Okay. Minultiply natin sa meter. So, magiging Newton na lang yung force. And then, yung uh, X natin will be in meter, will be in joules. Okay. Newton meter. So, this is the answer sa number, sa number 1, letter A. Then, allow me to uh, erase this one, ha? Okay, let us proceed to letter B. Okay, ang letter B natin, from a length of 1.5 meters to 2.5 meters. Okay. Dito, pinag-iingat tayong lahat, ano? Pinapaalalaanan tayo ng book. Uh, we have to be very careful on this one. Uh, kasi may tendency tayong magmadali at sabihin natin napakadali ng problem. Kaya lang yun, ganun, anticipation natin ng madali, doon tayo nagkakamali. 1.5 meters to 1 meter. Remember that the natural length of the spring is 1 meter. So kung may spring tayong ganito, no? ang natural length niya is 1 meter. Ngayon, kanina, no? determine how much work is done by stretching the spring. 2 meters beyond the natural length. So, kanina ginawa natin itong 0 and then 2 meters beyond the natural, natural length. Kung kaya, ang limits natin ay 0 to because the natural length of the spring is 1 meter. Ngayon, uh, ang temptation dito kasi baka nakita mong 1.5 meters, 1.5 meters dito, tapos 2.5 meters doon, ipasok mo yan dun sa integral from 1.5 to 2.5 eh magkakamali na po tayo ng uh, gagawin kasi merong natural length ka, no? This is uh, wrong. So, let us uh, try to analyze this one. At tingnan natin kung paano kunwari meron tayong spring dito. So, if this is the spring, Okay, pasensya na kayo sa drawing ko. Mouse lang ang gamit. Ano? And meron tayong 1 meter dito. Uh, ihilahin daw siya from a length of 1.5 meters. So, para maging 1.5 meters to, ano idadagdag natin dito? So, 0.5, no? 0.5 meters. Okay. To 2.5 2.5 meters. So, para maging 2.5 meters to, anong idadagdag natin? Para maging 2.5 meters naman itong isang to, pag natin yung kulay, no? Itong isang to, para maging 2.5, dadagdagan natin siya na itong 1 meter na to, dadagdagan natin ng 1.5 meters. So, yun. Basically, nasolve na natin yung problem. The rest, integration na lang. Uh, 
uh, yun lang naman ang mahirap dito yung uh, pag-analyze. Pero kung iisipin mo, napakadali. Ano, unang-una, unang-una, natetempt tayong gamitin yung baka matemp tayong gamitin yung W is equal to uh, the integral of negative k sub x dx kasi nga spring siya eh hindi nga yun dahil this is the work done to the system not by the system or not by the spring pangalawa baka matemp tayong ipasok to so ang magiging limits natin ngayon dito ano nga okay Tama yung nasa isip ninyo. It will be from 0.5 kasi 1.5 yan. From 0.5 from the natural length to 1.5. So the rest is integral na lang. O, sabihin natin na brown naman tayo. The work done by uh, the force is equal to the integral of uh, f of x dx Oops. f of x dx right. that is from from what? from 0.5 from 0.5 to certain 1.5 so, ganun din. It will be equal to what? It will be equal to uh, 100 x squared over 2. x squared over 2 na yan. So, mangyayari dito 50. 50 x squared over 2 from some point 5 to 1.5 so 1.5 to from 0.5 to 1.5 so ang equivalent nyan will be equal to 50 times 1.5 1.5 quantity squared that is the upper limit minus uh, 50 100 over 2 50 times 0 0.5 0.5 quantity squared okay. so you get the values kayo na po ang bahala and that will be the solution to that Solution to the problem. Okay. So, yeah, that is how uh, we are going to analyze problems. Tandaan ninyo uh, yung mga terms and phrases. Work done by the system to the system. At syempre, hindi palibas at nakita natin na uh, spring ay yun na ang gagamitin natin. Ano? Ito po ay work done by the spring. Ito naman po ay work done by the force to the uh, spring. I hope this will help and we will move on to our next uh, problem. Allow me to erase now. Okay, we have here another problem which reads... A 70 Newton force is applied horizontally to a 10 kilogram block at rest for a displacement of uh, 200 meters across a frictionless surface. So for now, there will be no effects of surface. The question is, how much work is done by the force? Letter B, what is the final kinetic energy? Letter C, how fast is the block moving at this juncture at 200 meters? And letter D, what is the acceleration of the block? Letter E, we are asked to use kinematics.
to calculate the final speed of the block. So first of, let us have some uh, illustration. Let us say, for example, that we have this uh, frictionless surface, which is a uh, horizontal frictionless surface. Just uh, take that as for example. And we have here a uh, block. Okay. So that block is having that is actually having a mass of 10 kilograms 10 kilogram mass of that block that is at rest kapag ka sinabing at rest our uh, initial velocity is a by is equal to zero. Okay. So that is a stress. We're trying to uh, do the FBD. There is a 70 uh, Newton force applied horizontally. So let us say that there is a force that was applied horizontally. Okay. So let us try to uh, so take this one. So let us try to undo. Okay. Uh, there is a force that is applied horizontally on that uh, on that block. Okay. Let's say, for example, this is the force, the 70 newton force that is. Uh, Applied horizontally in that block. So, sulat na lang natin, ano? Sulat, sulat na lang, 70 Newton. And this is a frictionless surface. Uh, uh, this force is being applied up to a distance of uh, 200 okay drawing drawing na lang tayo no so 200 okay so ang displacement niya will be 200 meters going in this direction okay so notice that uh we have a constant force here that is being applied up to this point, okay? Up to this point, 200 meters, okay? Okay, so uh, we have the solution. Okay. Solution. Ang case na ito ay uh, we have some uh, parallel force and we have what type of work? The work is uh, the force will be uh, in the same direction as the displacement. So we can expect a positive work done here to the system. So let us... Uh, have our uh, equation. If we have a constant force, work is equal to what? That is F cosine of theta multiplied by the displacement. Okay. So we know F cosine of theta is zero. And the displacement is 200. So therefore, the work done is equal to the force, which is 70. And then cosine of 0, because that is parallel force to the displacement, multiplied by 200 meters. Okay. 
So this is in meters. This one is in uh, newtons. And this one is zero. This one is actually cosine of zero is one. Therefore, we have the work. Let's try to. Uh, we have here the work equals uh, 70 multiplied by 200 and that will be in newton uh, meters let me grab the calculator first So, what we will have here is joules, and that's 14,000. Now, uh, letter, uh, we go to letter, this is letter A. We go now to letter B, what is the final kinetic energy? Okay. Blue naman ang gamitin natin sa letter B. Letter B will be what is kinetic energy. Ang work daw is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Kinetic energy final minus the kinetic energy initial. Ano? So, yun yung ating... Uh, equation na napatunayan nung tayo ay nag-conceptualize. Uh, so, notice that the initial kinetic energy is what? The block is at rest. Meaning to say, there is no movement on in this point. Therefore, the kinetic energy is equal to zero. Therefore, uh, ayusin natin to. Therefore, the network here is equal to the final kinetic energy. Okay. Final kinetic energy. So what is the network? The network is 1, uh, 14,000 joules. So, the final kinetic energy will be equal to the net uh, work, which is 14,000 joules. Okay. So, we are done with uh, we are done with uh, letter B. And in uh, Letter C, uh, let us create some space. Let us see if we have some more space here. Okay. So, dito na lang natin ilagay yung letter C. Letter C, let us have some violet in letter C. What is, how fast is the block moving at this point? So, alam natin yung kinetic energy at this point is equal to one half one half uh, m b squared. Okay. We have here m b squared. Ngayon, ang kinetic energy natin ay uh, 14,000 joules. So, 14,000. That is in Newton uh, meter. Allow me to use Newton meter first para madali natin makancel. Ano? 
and then this will be uh, multiplied by 2 kung makikita mo sa equation ayan o kasi yung 1 half pupunta ron and then divided by the mass what is the mass the mass is 10 kilograms 10 kilograms okay so newton is kilogram meter per second squared so, ito is kilogram meter per second squared. Makakancel man yung uh, kilogram. Mangyayari dyan, meter squared sec meter squared per second squared. So, ang natira sa kabilang equation ay B squared. If we're going to extract the uh, square root of both sides here, let us extract the square root. Therefore, ang gata tanggalin na natin tong uh, b squared dito. Okay. So that will be the uh, that will be the equation. Ang matitira sa 10 meter squared per second squared, and we are extracting the square root. So meter per second squared. Tingnan natin ang ating uh, kakalabasan 14,000 multiplied by uh, multiplied by 2 tapos divide natin sa 10 we have 2,800 and we're going to extract the uh, square root let us see where is the square root of this one Ito, square root. Okay. So, we have 52.915. That will be 52.915. The 195. 915. Okay. So, that is the uh, natin sa calculator. The 195. No? Okay, allow me to uh, pause the video and erase it for, for us to have uh, some space. Okay, meron tanong sa atin. Ano? Ang tanong naman sa atin, what is the acceleration? Letter D. What is the acceleration? So, gumitin natin brown naman, brown. Para iba-iba tayo ng kulay. So, acceleration. Anong masasabi natin? We will apply Newton's second law of motion. Um, sabi sa atin sa Newton's second law of motion, F net, okay, the net force is actually directly proportional to the acceleration and inversely proportional to the mass leading us or leaving us with the equation F net is equal to mass times death. There is no other force involved in this uh, example. Wala naman kasing frictional force. Kaya ang net force natin is 70 newtons lang. So if we have the net force to be 70 newtons, okay, and the mass is equal to 10 uh, 10 kilograms actually that will be in kilograms newton is in kilogram meter per second squared meter per second squared so yan yung newton that will be cancelled out kilogram ang matitira sa atin meter per second squared which is uh, uh, the unit of acceleration. So there will be 7. 7 meter per second squared. That will be the acceleration. Okay? I hope uh, there will be no questions on this. And allow me to raise again. Okay, now we go to our uh, letter E. 
So, letter E, let us use uh, block na lang, block E. Use kinematics to calculate the final speed. So, dito sa problem na to, gamit na gamit lahat. Ano na gamit natin yung Newton's laws of uh, motion? Nagamit natin yung uh, ating work. Okay. Tapos, magagamit ngayon natin dito yung kinematics para sa pagkuha ng yung natin medyo pumapangit yung ating problem. Yan. Para sa pagkuha natin ng use kinematics to calculate the final speed o yung final velocity. Okay. So, anong kinematic equation? Tatlo yun eh, no? So, involving, meron tayo ay D. Okay. Meron tayong acceleration which is I believe that is 7 7 meter per second squared Pagkakatanda ko Kanina naburo lang natin Tapos ay uh, Meron tayong initial velocity which is uh, 0 So pwede natin gamitin yung Bf squared is equal to bi squared plus 2 a uh, plus 2 ad okay wherein uh, this is squared uh, wherein initial velocity is equal to 0 therefore what is the uh, final velocity so so let's have this one Bf squared, okay, let's have Bf squared, and then that is equal to 2, what is the acceleration? Acceleration is 7, and the displacement is actually 200, okay, so that is actually for 2 times 7 times 200 and B sub F will be equal to what? The square root of, how much is this one? Let us try. That will be 14 into 200. That is 2,800. 2,800. 800 tayo dito. So, 2,800, we uh, extract the uh, square root of that one. Oh, parehas lang ng lumabas. That will be 52,915. Pareho nung nakastore kanina sa computer sa ating uh, nakuha sa work energy. So that will be what will be the unit. This is in meter. This one is in meter per uh, second squared. Ang unit nito meter squared per second squared. E kinuha natin yung square root. So meter per second will be the unit. So there you have it. We have solved for the uh, force, the final kinetic energy, the uh, velocity using uh, work uh, principle, the velocity uh, using kinematics, and the acceleration of the block. Okay, allow me to uh, erase and have another example.